Grixis Titan round two here. What we're gonna try is a few adjustments. Once we ran it once, we dropped one land, a Damnation, a Jace, and we're going to go full on in on our Titan plan. We have Croxa and we have the three Grixis Titans. We've added Serum Visions, hopefully to smooth things out as we found for the first league, things were a little bit rough back and forth with some of the flooding out lands. And if we had maybe just one or two draws deeper, we probably would have done just fine. Sideboard wise, we've added Cleansing Wildfire over Fulminator and added an Ashiok as well. And that is what we're going to do with Grixis, Frost Titan, Grave Titan, and Inferno Titan here in Modern. And let's, uh, Let's see how it goes. Let's go. Cue the match. Let's play some magic. All right. Here we go. Grixis round two here. And of the two matches, we'll see which one we put up on YouTube. Maybe I'll just put both. I mean, people like Grixis. Maybe it'll be, maybe it'll be the full 10 matches and I'll just spoil YouTube with Jumbo League. You wish I ran two Grace Titans? All right, we're playing first. Two Mana Leak Arts? I didn't realize I had two. All right, so we're against Obosh, which typically means it's gonna be Prowess, a lot of creatures to kill. I could Inquisition something away. Force of Negation's a little bit dead in the hand here. I think I can do better. I have Fatal Pushes and Bolts. Not to mention that Snapcast and other things would be better than probably two Croxes here. So I think this is worth a mulligan. I think, I think this is worth a mulligan just because I know they're at, at least an Obosh list. I don't see Inquisition getting us there. Nice. One lander, lots of blue, a croxa, and one cavern. Well, if the cavern was a blue source, maybe, but we'll mulligan this as well. All right. This hand, we at least have a mana leak. I don't particularly like the thought seize. We could put that back too and just do cling, snap, and mana leak here. Fetch non basic. My opponent mulled to six. I think we can keep this. Thought Season Grave Titan away. And then Polluted Delta and just plan to fetch. Um, why Steam Vents here? <clears throat> cool. All right, we're off to the races here. My opponent's an aggressive deck. Probably want to shock in here. Oh, we don't have to now. Let's put it on giant for the future. That is the plan. I know I've got a human in hand, but I'm not too worried about using Snapcaster at the moment. We'll allow them to attack, and if they have the light at the stage, it's probably worth the mana leak. We'll see. Lava darts me, definitely not gonna <laughs> not gonna mana leak this. You think our opponent's confused? Alright, well, I'll happily mana leak an another soul scar mage. It's just an extra creature that I don't really have any removal for. Finding a bolt here off the top's nice. And we'll put Watery Grave in tapped. All right, well, plenty of interaction doing Grixis things because that's what we are. I just have to accept this because I am a Blood Moon player as they are. I must accept this. I cannot be angry. There will be no salt. That was a well-played Blood Moon. Well done. <laughs> Hold on, everyone. I've got, I've got four islands. We just got to hit one of the islands, and then things get really crazy. 
then things get really crazy. Don't worry about it. You're all like freaking out. It's easy mode. Just get this island right off the top. Easy mode. There's no salt here. We play plenty of Blood Moon. Look, it was an island, just the wrong type. Keep going. They're not killing me anytime soon. I have thought about Aether Gust in the sideboard for kind of this total scenario. We had the option to, to search. I just opted to do a Steam Vents instead. All right, let's try to kill Bomad here. See if they want to take that. Bolts me. Bolts me and Cantrips Bomat. Nice. We don't have Aether Gust. No, no. I would probably put Aether Gust in for the two ceremonious rejections, but we're going with the list. Remember, Vesper Lark Reanimator took 18 iterations to find the 5 0. We're on a request. This is iteration two. Three, if you count the very first one that Bunny created. Opponents like, sup, this is Blood Moon. Top of the library is a dun dun dun. It's a Grixis Titan one. Bolts, man, my opponent had all the bolts. All the bolts, all the bolts. All right, so Collective Brutalities come in for this matchup. Cleansing Wildfire now and Anger, Engineered Explosives. Cletus, potentially Damnation. Cleansing Wildfire is coming in because Cleansing Wildfire can fix our mana. And we kind of need outs to Blood Boom. Cling to Dust is a no-go here. Thought Seizes feel questionable. Feels a little bit questionable still. So I think that's easy to take those out. Three more. Force is here for Blood Moon. No, Force is for Blood Moon. We usually cut like, I don't know, cause I have the Serum Visions now. I'm trying to fit two cleansings in. Let's look at it like this. If I did it this way, I'd just have one more cut. Which could probably just be like a Croxa or something. But I like the idea of some cleansing wildfires here. Question is, do I really need all of these Titans? I probably can cut the Frosty one because they're Obosh. They're not necessarily not, um, not necessarily, um, what's the two drop? We just played against it. The two drop that pumps a whole bunch. So maybe Frost Titan can come out. These can come in and then like try to fit cleansing wildfires in here. Like, I don't think Croxa necessarily wins this game, necessarily. And it's Killing Fiend, thank you. Gosh, I'm losing my mind. I almost feel like Croxa could be pulled out for Cleansing Wildfires. Yeah, there are no Bosch decks, so can't they can't play the Killing Fiend. That's why I'm not so worried about having, like, Frost Titan to shut down one creature. If they go to Blood Mean Me again, the Croxas are really awkward. Where if I have Cleansing Wildfires, at least it gives me two Cleansing Wildfires, two Force Negations. And then if I have just a basic Island out, I can play a good portion of my deck. Basic Island, Basic Swamp. Not having the second Basic Swamp is proving to be a little bit of a problem. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I, I like this, though. I, I like what we've done here. All right. I uh, think we can keep this. I want to fetch first. At the same time, I don't want to fetch first. All right, we're going to keep here. I'm going to go get a blood crypt and we're going to do a serum visions on turn two. I know that seems really strange to do, but we're going to do it. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. 
This way I can get the blood crypt. I don't believe I'm going to need my third blue here necessarily. Look at that. Inferno Titans getting set up, getting ready. Serum Visions here. We find another. We can Autumn Inquisition top Cavern of Souls, and then we'll just pass. It's looking fine. Yeah, we, we basically need one more black or red source here. I can probably just lead with Serum Visions this next turn and keep keep digging. Stage is lit. Mountain and Season Pyromancer, so this could be their next turn. So we top deck that cavern. Let's Serum Visions again. We draw Kalidus. We have a Cleansing and a Collective Brutality. Both of these are reasonably good. I almost am just tempted to take the Cleansing Wildfire here. Play the island and then maybe just put Cavern on Vampire to play a Kalidus. Collective Brutality, Pitch Inferno. We're kind of trying to get towards Inferno. Oh, we could get it back with the K command. That's true, too. It's a little awkward, but we can hit this land or this land to go get black and still have red. I suppose both of these are fine. Let's put this on top and then the Collective Brutality on top. I think they're going to cast this Season Pyromancer. And we're going to not put Cavern down just yet. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. And I agree, we could Inferno Titan and get it back with K-Command. Forgotten Cave is cycled. I like that play. See, Grixis player knows what they're talking about. Land from Exile and Season Pyromancer. I almost want to just throw the Snapcaster away, but I think that's incorrect. Maybe it's not. I only have Serum Visions down here. You know what? Let's go for it here. It seems a little odd to do, but I'm not planning to use these Serum Visions. I kind of have my next few turns what I want to, and I'd rather them cast things here into the Snapcaster um, than pump this when I go to do my Collective Brutality. Yeah, we want to make it to late game here, and we have two great ways to get there. Another removal spell being used here and or something upstairs to keep this alive is one less thing that could kill Kalidas. K-Command can get back Snapcaster, you are correct. They Firebolt us here. Okay, so I have Collective Brutality or K-Command. I could K-Command this to pick back up the Snapcaster. I could probably collect a Brutality right now. Oh, we can't K-Command, that's right. I'm like, this is black mana for this. Yeah, it's probably two modes here, right? We could slam Kalidus too. 
There's a lot of tempting things to do here. I'm afraid that this is going to shrink Cletus and make it worth less, though. I'm going to put this out for Vampire. And I think I'm going to go ahead and two mode this for life gain and kill creature. Could be all modes, but I think it's two modes here because I'm going to get rid of Inferno. And I want to be sure of what I have. So I like this because then this next turns Kalidus in the in the face of Bone Crusher, and Kalidus doesn't shrink to a Soul Scar Mage. Forgotten Cave sideways here, and Bone Crusher from Exile. I think you could do many lines there. I like ours. All right, so there's that cleansing. So now we just play here, just like this. <clears throat> and now we have a nice blocker. Totally fine to trade here. Grixis is tough, it can be, yeah. If they want to fire two things at Kalidus, that's totally fine as well right now. A lot of options. Yep, yep. Stomps Kalidus and follows the stomp up with like another spell, right? To kill Kalidus. All right, and fire bolts. So that's four damage that didn't hit me in the face. And then Bone Crusher attacks for four. Okay. And they light the stage at the end. And they hit a Lava Dart that they can use. All right, Anger the Gods looks nice for the future here. I could cleansing wildfire my cavern of souls for red to set it up. It gives me K command as well. Do we think they're going to play this bone crusher giant? Probably. They're out of stuff to do. I probably have to set up so that I can anchor here. And the best thing to do is just get rid of this cavern because it's basically colorless now. I only had one vampire. And I don't think I'm going to get black even though black could help quite a bit if they Blood Moon. We're going to have to risk it a little bit here and get red mana. We top deck an Inquisition. All right. So we're able to Anger. My opponent has Lava Dart that they're going to cast. I'm at 11. We know about Bone Crusher and we know about this mountain. So we're hoping they play Bone Crusher. We don't care about that Lava Dart here. Put Obosh to hand. There's, a, there's the Bone Crusher. All right. Step one. Step one, Bone Crusher. Step two, take four. Step three, Anger. Step four, question marks. All right. Obosh to hand. All right, we do hit a land. I still think it's anger here. They play Obosh and then try to Lava Dart. Still, I still think I need to anger here to clear everything. And I don't think it's like Fetch, Shock, and try to Inquisition here. So this is Obosh. Lava Dart's worth three, and whatever's in their hand could be worth something too. I'm gonna get a little more black and blue mana, so Watery Grave. Not trying to pick anything up. Extra land here, okay. So I just check the hand here and then cryptic bounce Obosh if they try to do anything. Ooh, Blood Moon. Get that out of here. All right, they had a forgotten cave.
Good job, Inquisition. Good job. Good job. Granted, we could just counter the Blood Moon, but... All right, two, two spells here. There's Swift Spear. Do I just counter and return this and blank their entire turn? That seems fine. I don't think I'm doing anything else. Counter target spell and return this permanent. Maybe I'll get lucky and they'll play the other thing that's not in their hand and not Obosh and then I'll K command it away. It's gotta be another Obosh down here. I don't believe there's anything that I want. No, there's Lava Dart. Let's take the Steam Vents here, more red. Hmm. Yeah, this Lava Dart's worth three. So I'm just dead here, right? I don't think I have an out here, do I? Brutality gain two, then we K command, they discard, we buy back, and they kill me with this, right? We're, we're dead. We're dead because of this card. Obosh helps itself. It's six. So if we gain two, six, and then the lava dart just kills us. I don't believe we have an out here. What I could do is K command, getting Snapcaster and make them discard. I want to get back the Kalidus, obviously. Just bring back the Snapcaster, do like a Snapcaster Serum Visions and just hope they forget that they have a Lava Dart. Yeah, we know Lava Dart kills. We just gotta make some assumptions that my opponent forgets about that one card. <laughs> just ignore this card over here. You don't need that card. Snapcaster Serum Visions and just be like, hey, look. You uh, can't kill me this turn, question mark. <laughs> At least set ourselves up for our opponent to fail. Oh gosh, all these cards are terrible. Down, bottom, bottom. All right. Yeah, Lava Dars would be another three. Oh, bolt off the top. All that brain thinking and it didn't matter. All right. Let's move on. <laughs> Just all that brain power. And what does my opponent do? Bolt. Yeah, Obosh is six damage and he's an odd converted mana cost. 
he or she or Hellion elemental horror thingy. That's really out of context, Barwick. Maybe Nullrod was super good against you. We don't know what you're playing. How's it going? Oh, one this league. Fighting a lot of prowessy lists tonight. All right, now we have a Luris deck. Luris deck. We have actually a pretty pretty decent hand here. Um, I think I'm pretty happy to go ahead and just keep this. This this looks like this could do some stuff. Yeah, last league was two three. This league's 0-1, but we've got a good hand here, so. All right, opponent thought seizes me. <laughs> Protect your hand. This gets value later. Stop the card draw. Get the cryptic. All right, well, I think pretty simple. Watergrave tapped. Don't ask me why. Something just tells me I don't want to take damage. 4-1 guaranteed. 4-1 guaranteed. My opponent's not going to put anything nasty out here yet. Fetches and shocks in. They're getting things done. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and Serum Visions now. Put both of these to the bottom. Go ahead, opponent. Bolts me. All right. Is Obosh the best companion now? I mean, we're playing against another companion. Basic swamp for our opponent. Bobbles. Bobble used here and cast a Scourge. Good reason to not take more damage than we have to. All right. Well. We're hitting a lot of lands here. I suppose a fetch is okay here for a basic. And then use this for red. And just play this out and pass turn. I don't know about this. It's sort of a Death Shadow. We have a 4-4, four, four, which is going to take me to 12 and make this a 7-7. Seven, seven. Mountain. Inquisition. Hand is empty of things. Thanks for the follows. Last card is a... Another Scourge. Help. Okay, got a Serum Visions of my own. Basic Swamp, pass turn, because I have to tap down their team and draw a card, or I die. So tap and draw. Mana Leak, that's not good. All right. Fetch only to take one instead. Trying to keep my life total relatively high here. Island. Make red. Actually, we can Serum Visions first here. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh. Frost Titan? I don't know if that's going to get me anywhere, but I'm willing to try. Croxa gets rid of the rest of the graveyard here. I don't foresee this getting me very far, but hey, I'm, I'm down for trying my Frost Titan. Gets rid of a Dismember here. We have two 7-7s. Seven it does seem too slow, but what else am I going to get? I got a block, obviously. Down to four. 
Let's go ahead and play Frosty. <laughs> Frosty's another blocker. Croxa has good synergy too. All right, they make it an 8-8 now. 10-10. Attacks. Block. <laughs> I need like Fatal Push, Fatal Push off the top. That's not a fatal push. Let's go ahead and polluted delta. Polluted delta to get Mystic Sanctuary. Mystic Sanctuary to put up Cryptic. Yes. Draw Cryptic and set up below the Cryptic. Hmm. Put both on top. Tap team, tap team and bolt, and then snap tap team. I think I'm keeping both of these. Is bolt worth it? Or do I want to go deeper than bolt? I think I want to put this on top. Something's telling me that that is the line. I mean, if my opponent ever finds bolts of their own, they win. But they're not going to. As they tap for bolt. <laughs> tap all creatures and draw a card. That pump fake. That pump fake. All right. All right, they're just trying to fake me out. It's rude. Snapcaster, snap cryptic again. Tap and draw. The off chance I draw a fatal push here. Fatal push is my own snapcaster. That's fine. We weren't trying to pick it up. Urborg is not what I want. Serum visions. All right. <laughs> Dig deeper. Cavern, there's my cryptic. How do I get this into my hand? <laughs> One, two, three, four. I can bolt and play Croxa. Yeah, they had the fatal push, so I'm kind of glad I didn't do that. Not that I have anything really in the yard after using that that cryptic. Put on bottom, put on top here. Like Urborg. Red, red, black, black. Put a Crocs into play and just like see what they want to do here. Maybe they forget to attack. <laughs> Couldn't I keep bouncing Mystic and have infinite cryptics? Yeah, every other turn. They ditched the land. They see what's on top. <laughs> Just ignore that card. They attack with both, we lose. All right. Not bad from where we were at. Ooh, Drown the Lock would have been nice. All right. Engineered Explosives comes in for this matchup. Kalidus, Damnation. Collective Brutality isn't the worst either. 
So Force of Negation can come out. They don't have that much. They might be a Blood Moon deck, but I'm going to just chance it. Cling. Yeah, you. so they attack me. I tap and bounce Mystic Sanctuary. On my turn, I play Mystic Sanctuary. Cryptic goes on top, but unless I have a way to draw it, it's just sitting there. Hmm, I like the Thought Seizes here, but I don't think I need this many. I could probably drop one. Collector Brutality is kind of an interesting one. Could mess up a um, Scourge. That's why I'm considering it. So these four out, these four in. Is this collective brutality worth it? Hmm. Let's just have the one of. Let's give it a shot. Let's play first. All right, Serum here. Snapcaster and get to look at some cards. It's not the greatest, but give it a shot. We want to test these Serum Visions. I want to see how valuable the Serum Vision is here. So we'll go ahead and for it. My opponent's mulliganing quite a bit. They went to five cards. We'll see if it matters. Drown the Lock, Lightning Bolt. We'll put the extra island on top. We do need other lands at some point, but I think we got a little bit of time to do that. I like the extra island here in case they play Blood Moon. Fetch, Shock, Swift Spear. Hmm. Now I regret it a little bit. Chat delay is too strong. <laughs> I'll probably just put the Mystic Sanctuary down because it's going to be forever before I get a spell back, and I don't think I want to tempo myself with a Snapcaster. Sorry, I don't want to tempo myself with a Mystic Sanctuary. I want to just use Snapcaster. My opponent attacks me for an additional one here. Maybe they have just the one lander. It appears that's what they do. All right. Go ahead. We're just going to we're going to just naturally draw lands and titan. That's what we're gonna do. Opponents found their second land. I will do a no block again. Start with Serum Visions. Inquisition. Oh, there's Grave Titan. One, two, three, four, five. We're so close, so why not, right? <laughs> Giant, <laughs> why not, right? Plus that plane or that swamp gives me drown the lock, which gives me a kill on the Swiss spear if I wanted to. Very far away from ever using the bolt, though. <laughs> of all things, oh, cling the dust. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. I know we didn't come here not to, right? We will have we'll have the mana for it, so. F6 through this turn. I'm just not doing anything. Slowest turn for my opponent. Bolts me. All right. A little extra there. Cling, bolts, monastery, swift spears, doing all the things. I'm going to pass the turn here with Drown the Lock open because I may just, just may just end this swift spears life right here. Remember, we can also cryptic. So you play a two drop here. Maybe I... Maybe I do something else with it. They cling again. I'm going to wait till end step because I think I can go to nine. All right. This is a great time to go ahead and counter and counter target spell and return permanent. Take zero this turn. Zero. Nada. Get owned. All right. So we can either drown 
or Inquisition. I'm going to hold Drown here just because it's a little more interactive. It's a little nicer. I know that Swift Spear is probably just going to show back up. Oh, Thoughtseize. Oh, you're so rude. Oh, I want this. Defend. What if I just Snapcaster defend here? That's a dumb idea. We're going to draw the land naturally off the top. All right. Snapcaster drown the lock next. Titans have come to play. The Titans have come to play. You think trading there is reasonable, but now I have Snapcaster and Drown the Lock. Yeah, we don't have red. We can't even bolt this poor thing. <laughs> All right, come at me. I'll go to nine. Apparently, I won't just go to nine. All right, let's go ahead and Snapcaster and let's drown the lock. Um, I wonder what I should drown the lock here. Let's go ahead and destroy the Swift Spear because I'm going to draw that land off the top. I'm going to go to seven. When they play the creature as a follow up, we're going to just Frost Titan it. Give me the land right here. I'm ready. Land me. I don't care about your Scourge. I don't care about your 6-6 six, six Scourge. Land. <laughs> I can't even cast this. I can't even cast this. I'll uh, steal something here. Soul Guy, don't care. Fatal Push, sort of care about. I kind of care about this, but I think I have to take the fatal push so I don't take six and die. <laughs> no, we have a basic island and we have a basic uh, mountain. Our mana base is so painful. No, it's not. It's a, it's a, it's a new exception to the rule. Blocking. I will take any land except Creeping Tar Pit off the top. Oh, team or Battle Rage? I don't deserve it. I don't deserve it, opponent. Top deck was a... Uh... <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of double blue, double black. We're, we're triple blue. <laughs> we're, we're pushing the mana base the distance. We'll just say that. Oh, one more, one more land and we get to tighten them. We're probably playing Frost Titan first. And then just line it up with Grave Titan right after. Ugh, come on. I won the die roll. Is there a Grixis Triome? I didn't think there was a Grixis Triome yet, but I could be wrong. I, I don't think there's a Grixis Triome, so that's why. This Luris opponent, we're getting revenge. We're getting revenge. Yeah, if there's a Grixis Triome in the future, then come back to the stream and we'll play some more Titan. Grixis Titan. I'm going to fetch Shock here. I fear no Luris. Serum Visions. Force, Cryptic, K Command, bottom, bottom. I'm going to find my land and I am going to end this opponent. Blue? 
Crab? What? Let's make red blue here, a little Serum Visions. Snappy, Blood Crypt, Thoughtseize. Put on top, put on top. Guess my life total doesn't matter. Bolt the crab, go. All right, opponent. All right. There's no cavern naming giant. What's really funny is you're looking at the list that doesn't include what we've adjusted because in our adjusted list, there's a cavern. All right, what are we doing? Thoughtseize here? Snap? I don't know. Thoughtseize is probably okay. What do we got? Fatal and Blood blood Chiefs? <laughs> blood Chief. Got him. Got him. <laughs> They're so funny. Mystic Sanctuary to the bin here. By the way, they can totally feel the ruin us. Besides Prismatic Vista is the line. Play our Blood Crypt, shock it in. All right, we got Cryptic Command. We have Snappin' and Bolton. Got that dumb Fatal Push over there, but soon. Soon, the Grave Titan. Good old Grix's Shock and Pass. I have not, Typad. I have not. All right, we're fielding this card here. Sure. Um, I need blue. I need blue. I have a lot of basics. We're anti-Blood Moon here. Titan or bust? That's what this game's gonna come down to. When they see this Titan show up, they're just be like, <laughs> His jaw will hit the floor. New Field of Ruin. Mesmeric Orb. Kind of don't like this one. Let's counter... Counter Draw. I know it's Fatal Polluted Delta. I'm not really worried about the next card here. Drown the Lock. Get owned. Get owned. We're getting to this Grave Titan. Darn. All right, I'll take your Fatal Push. <laughs> Thanks. 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 C -c Counters. Counters. All right, I need two lands. We have plenty of lands, come on. Flips is Kanta here. Polluted Delts is played. We kept whatever on top. Watery Grave go. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Since when does Mill use Luris? Um, been a while. Been a, been a while. Buy back crabs, buy back this Mesmeric Orb is an option. As Kanta goes and finds a, don't be a Thoughtseize, don't be a Thoughtseize, don't be a Thoughtseize. Surgical, ha, you can't surgical this. There's only one in the list. Get owned. Get beaten. Show me the top deck land. What is this, what is this? Crab, crab. Dire Wolf, thank you for the follow. Surgical unknown card, Lurr is still in the companion zone. Let's go get, we have black, black, we have blue, blue, blue. Let's get our red on the off chance that I find Grave Titan. Mills three, it's Frost Titan. <laughs> snappy, snappy. Don't mind him. <laughs> They're like, what is that? Lurs to hand. All right, Lurus is in hand. It may be worth a Thoughtseize, but who knows? Who knows? 
All right, we miss our land drop, so it's an easy thought seize. If only we didn't take out Nexus. We're going to prove we didn't need Nexus. Oh, come on. I didn't. I want to just thought seize you. There's no way they take my thought seize. They take like Cryptic or Force or something. Take Snapcaster with three Snapcasters. No, two Snapcasters in the yard. I don't care to mana leak this. This doesn't worry me. No, 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 no countering this. No, denied. Nope, don't care. Don't care. Thoughtsies. Luris, they have Fatal Push left. Silly Fatal Push. <laughs> okay, top deck land. Come on, one time. Thank you. Hmm. Search land's a little awkward, but I'll take it. It's all over? I don't know how many times you tell me that, and then we just end up winning the game. Grave Titan, go. I didn't know Grave Titan was black. No Drown the Lock here, please, one time. Yeah, it doesn't seem to fetch any lands. The The card's broken on MTGO. It's usually green. Doesn't allow you to fetch anymore. It's really strange. It's over for them. For them? For them. I like that. My opponent doesn't know what to do about this. They're like, what? It's not green. It's It's black. Maddening is what they got. Titan Resolve. There we go. Grave Titan in play. Fatal Push is a zombie because that's all Fatal Push is good for. So we have Maddening and some others. I have 35 cards. They're going to kick it. Kicked. Down to 17. <laughs> Go. Nice. Could play Crocs out of the yard. Probably going to. Swing. <laughs> block, no block. Block. Nope, it's a no block. You have to kill me next turn. All right, here's a question. Let's see here. Red, red, black, black. We just play the Croxa, right? No reason to try to do this one for any reasons. Um, I don't care about like any of this. Do, 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 do. <laughs> and then we'll have a mana leak and hope they don't have something crazy here. Good luck me. It's as if they wanted help escaping, exactly. They didn't know about this yet. They didn't know I was being completely insane and trying to do double black, double red, and all of the above. Did I reveal a tight? I didn't reveal Inferno Titan either. Mana leak the hard hard cast archive trap. If they have to use this as Sakanta as well, the mana leak's looking good. <gasps> Fetch land. Down to 13. <laughs> Down to 13. <laughs> Basic swamp tapped. Untapped. Fatal pushes Croxa. Poor Croxa. Goodbye, Croxa. I can do six to them, and then I have the Croxa here to do more, because they have no cards in hand. They can put a card into hand. They're doing it all here. 
I wonder if mana leaking there actually was the correct play, because then this is Kant is not here. Hmm. Oh well. That works too. We could cling for funsies. I don't I don't think I want to cling for funsies. Scoot over, please. Excuse me, crab, can you move? Thanks. It's kinda of looking for a counter. Come on and slam, and welcome to the jam. All right. Hmm. So. Mill. We had the Nexus of Fate. We decided, oh, Ashiok will be better. And now we're against Mill. Go figure. So what... Do we want to do? Huh. Reverse surgical? <laughs> I think anger the gods could be reasonable here as just a way to board wipe them. Side in a whole bunch of stuff and take nothing out. Then you're diluting the number of lands you can draw, which is a problem. I don't mind like Anger and maybe Kalidas. After that, I, I think I have problems bringing in stuff. I don't mind like maybe one, two, maybe three cards coming in. Let's bring an Engineered Explosives in and try that. But I'm not going to bring any more in than that. All right, Grayus, take care. We will try to cast all the Titans. Uh, this hand looks reasonable. I don't have to fetch immediately, but I could. We have a Croxa. We have Lightning Bolt and K Command. So we can take care of a bunch of crabs. I like that option. If there was something to get with this, it would probably be Steam Vents. I'm going to go ahead and do this immediately and just test if they have the Archive Trap. Hoping they don't. They did. All right. Well, they had one of them. Setting up Croxa here. <laughs> Setting up the Croxa. It's all good. All right. Ms. Miric Orb. Totally fine to see here as well. Let's... Shock in and thought seize. Maddening and just some lands. Cool. All right. <clears throat> Goes over a mission briefing, another land. They play a land. They put Luris into hand. His Miric Orb on tap one. So I think it's just pass the turn here and leave myself with a K command. And I might just pick up like Snapcaster from the yard. Hedron Crab, Archive Trap, Mesmeric Orb. The other thing I could do is just kill Luris. I could kill Luris and kill this orb, which seems actually kind of fine. And then I can lightning bolt the crab that they replay here. So destroy artifact and deal two damage. So we get Laris here and then I can bolt what Serum Visions and Croxa here. So bolts, Serum Visions. Yes, yes, yes. Two, three, one, two, three. Four, five, six. We can bottom the sanctuary. We'll put Frost Titan on top. We'll see if we get lucky to keep that or not. Tempt Croxa here and pass the turn. We'll see if they have a mill spell. They've got a mill spell. If they do that, we're gonna play Croxa instead. 
Misty Rainforest. They have Sanctuary and two Unknowns. Sure it wasn't destroy, grab, snap, then snap K command. Snap K command was five mana. They'd have another turn with Luris, and they'd just get back the Mesmeric Orb. You could then snap maybe Bolt instead. So then we'd have that and, and not done the Serum Visions. Do you want to field me? That would get rid of the Frost Titan on top. They don't know what's on top. Fielding me also stops Croxa here, but they don't know that. They need to field the Watery Grave. They feel the Blood Crypt here. I suppose this will do it too. Okay. Drown in the Lock. We don't have double red, so it's just Creeping Tar Pit past turn. Creeping Tar Pit's a win condition. What's up, one Saturday? How's it going? What do you got? Polluted Delta is their choice. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six. We know it's Mystic Sanctuary and an unknown. Hmm. Do I try to wait so I can drown the lock as well, or am I slamming just Titan and seeing if the last card's a counter? I think I just go for it. I think I just go for it. If it's not a counter, this is just really good. If it is a counter, well, you know. <sighs> Mystical Dispute. Never don't slam. That is the only option. Well, we took the only option. Crab. They can now play the Mystic Sanctuary here and they can get back whatever they want. And mill me for a little bit more. We might be running out of red sources. 32 cards to go. 29 after this mill. Targets a mission briefing, so we can definitely counter that. If they do mission briefing, what do they have here that I care about? Oh, nothing. Cool. <laughs> nothing. Cool. Let's go. Titan, 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 Titan. Team Titans. Let's boot up Creeping Tarbit and slam. Get slammed, opponent. Make some tokens. What's this mission briefing gonna do? Nothing. All aboard the gravy train. Yes, indeed. I wonder if I have a fetchable source. If I do, I could put a Croxa down. Scanning, scanning, scanning. If I do that, then they have the archive trap. Let's not do that. Even though I want to slam New Titan, let's not do that. Oh my gosh, it's KO Timons. Yeah, then he would Archive Trap. That's a bad idea. Go to two opponent. Mission Briefing. What's up, KO and the Abzan folks? Or are we Pink Heliod tonight? I've been watching. I've been watching. How goes it, Siege Rhinos? Let's welcome our Siege Rhino friends here. What do they do with Mission Briefing? They drown the lock, the Titan? Disrespect. Disrespect. Keeping the Grave Titan alive. You do not disrespect the Grave Titan. 27 cards to go, and we take the match against Mill. Who needed Nexus of Fate? Good choice by us. One, two.
It was vanilla, Heliod? Oh, I bet you won a bunch too, because I wasn't there to cheer you on. I tuned in for one game, one game before I went to bed, and you lost it. You lost it. I'm so sorry. Grave Titan? KO. Psh. Frost Titan. Grave Titan. Inferno Titan. You went 03 into 3 2. Wait, what? 03 into 3 2? You erased a loss? How'd you do that? Teach us your ways. Sensei. Teach. Three five total. Oh. Oh, you dropped the lead. <laughs> Wise choice. All right, let's play our next match. Let's bring this back. Clive Livingston's our opponent. Hand looks decent. Let's go. Gonna do this whole fetch shock watery grave thing. I think I like doing that. I like. I like practicing for Vesper Lark in our future. Also helps the Serum Visions a little bit. I'm gonna bottom Lightning Bolt and I'm gonna steal their best card. They're never gonna see it coming. Watch. Get stolen, opponent. Arid Mesa, I fear nothing from them. Stomping Ground. Shriekhorn. I don't want my Thoughtsies anymore. Get rid of the Thoughtsies, please. I don't want this anymore. Can I put it back? <laughs> I don't want it anymore. Put it back. You know what? Don't care. Thoughtsies, the dredge player. Will I be rewarded for doing this? Rewarded. Rewarded. Takes the cathartic reunion. Absolute madman I am. Blood gas cathartic here. Follow up. Stinky Golgargi. We lose. Okay. Don't talk crap about Thoughtseize like that. Really? Really? Do we need to go over the board state and what's happening to us? Oh, we're we're aware of how that was. We're aware that we're getting smashed. I am very aware. <clears throat> should I? I really should. I think this is a great idea. Let's continue this path. Don't judge. Allow your opponent to succeed at magic further, and you are the better player. You are above other players. Understanding the mechanics of the game and aiding your opponent to achieve their best night ever is what we are here to do. Welcome to the charity stream. Absolute victory. We're here to help feed the kids of the opponents with which we play against. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Holidays, Diwali. Diwali was a little bit ago. What else is there? I gotta cover them all. We need a huge list of all potential holidays that my opponent could be celebrating. Happy New Year. Happy first Second day of December. <laughs> I'm just, I don't know how Hanukkah is or how to spell it. You don't have a dreidel? I don't know why we had a dreidel in our house. I don't know where it came from. I'm just kind of talking and my opponent's kind of doing. Um, if we're close to dying here, I'm gonna fetch shock and just blow my my uh, life total up. Is dredge really that popular? I have no idea, but apparently it's possible. 
My opponent's getting that practice and these extra reps. Always yield. I'm tired. Blue mages. I don't know how you do it. This is four. Attack me. I'm going to fetch shock. Nice. Fetch. Shock. For those going, no, Fluffy, don't. You have cryptic command. You could win this game. You are insane. Okay. <clears throat> Surgicals, Ashiok. I kind of want the cleansing wildfires, the anger, the damnation, the Kalidas. Thunk. Croxa, out. Thoughtseize, 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 Inquisition, Inquisition, out. Hmm. Now what? I can't counter spell. Should have been Grix's mid range instead. What's counter spells? What's counter spells? What's this cryptic command? Blue mage, best mage. It's a lifestyle choice. It's not for everyone. What? What? Evans told me it's for everyone, so I'm trying to experience Blue Mage greatness. It just seems to evaporate, though, when I play against it. Yes, against it. I did not misspeak. I'm conflicted right here. Rakdos, yes. Mono Red Prison, yes. Grixis? Conflicted. I don't know what's under, what's happening. Keep. Deck's broken. Got the Ashiok. Win the game. Opponent won't know what's going to hit him. If I'm really honest, if I'm not playing a red or blue deck, I'd really enjoy Abzan. Strategist is here. Channel Monastery Mentor. But that's white. Monastery Mentor is a white card. <clears throat> All right, we got this with the Zashiok. You watch this. We're going to just decimate my opponent. Look at that. No Shriekhorn. They're done. Ended. I'd cleansing wildfire them, but they uh they, they played Arid Mace is smart. Smart style. Alright, Ashiok. Let's make it make it happen. We talked Fluffy into playing a bad Grixis deck twice. What? What are you talking about? Alright, I'm slamming. I have no fear. I have no fear. And I'm just gonna start milling. That's what that's what we're here for. I went over nothing good. Oh well. Oh well. I could cleansing wildfire them now. That'd be funny. Shriekhorn. Dun dun dun. Shriekhorn's used. Creeping shells hit. The mad person. What a draw. All right, so let's go ahead and cleansing wildfire them. <clears throat> We're doing this because I'm going to Mystic Sanctuary pick this back up. And then we're going to Ashiok them. And I have this cling just in case. And then we'll cleansing wildfire them again. It's like red white lockout, just, just, not oh shoot i want to stop that no i don't i don't care about that my opponent does that instead of drawing a land <gasps> blood crypt all right thug 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 i can deal with thug right now maybe i wait Try to cleansing again. Yeah, let's do that. 
Cleansing again for funsies. I'm having too much fun. Fatal push. Fatal push. We got everything. Die, die, die. I don't care what you put on top. Yeah, go ahead. Put that on top. <laughs> Get milled. Goodbye. All right, we've killed the Golgari thug. We've been milling with Ashiok here. We have cling to dust and, and damnation. Oh. Still don't have this set, because who cares about having this set? There's an ox. We have one land, though. Do you have the second one? So, cleansing wildfire. Pretty good. I see where K command could be interesting, but let's not worry about that. Submit. Submit. The problem with Grixis will always be its issue. It so badly needs a Triome. Triome wouldn't be bad. I think, I think the thing with Grixis is I think Rakdos is just that much stronger or blue black is. And so when you put all three together, it's just not very synergistic. Think of Jund, you have Rock and Rakdos. Both can be excellent mid-range lists. And so when you just toss green in there, you're just getting kind of what green likes to do, which is play creatures. So Jund makes sense. But when you're doing things with Grixis, it's a little bit more difficult because Grixis can be tempo, it could be control, it could be mid-range, and it's a little bit more all over the place based on its, I guess, what makes Grixis Grixis? I'm gonna keep this. I'm just gonna force them. I've learned my ways. Force them and end this opponent. We'll get rid of Bolt on the force, right? I don't want, what, Snapcaster here? I don't know, Blue Mages. What do I exile with force here? Do we exile Cryptic, Snapcaster, or Serum Visions? <laughs> Snap, Cryptic, Cryptic, need lands, Cryptic. All right, Cryptic it is. We did it. We did it. We played Magic correctly today. Give yourselves a pat on the back. Snaps good with Bolton Visions. It's like seeing the future. Seeing the future. Gotten a few of these Serum Visions. Let's snap them off. <laughs> I guess future we could snap Force. It is a thing we could do. Uh-oh, is this cathartic? Don't be cathartic. I don't need a hug. Life from the Loam? What's up, Slayerfall? With the dad jokes? What dad jokes? You didn't see anything here. You didn't see anything. This is cathartic. Golgari Thug here hits a Narc Amoeba. That's about it, though. All right. Wasn't the worst. Serum Visions. Get a cleansing. We have Cryptic and K Command. Bottom and what? Top? I guess I don't mind that. Creeping Tarpit sideways and past turn. Just cleansing them using Cascading Bluffs. And hold up Bolt for Meba. Meba, Meba. Meba, Meba. Meba, Meba. Cathartic. There's a Golgari Thug. We have a Conflag here, but that is, looks like it's it. So we kind of dodge a bullet there. That's good for us. Land. 
Uh oh. I can't cleanse in and bolt? Think again. <clears throat> I guess I can't hold it up. That's true. We can agree to that. I can hold it up till the end of that phase. And the magic online will be like, red mana? And I'll be like, put it in my mana pool. And they'll be like, you're not green Omnath. Stop that, Fluffy. Oh. Whew, Shriekhorn. You're a genius opponent. You got it all. I just put that K command to the bottom too. They milled me. They milled me. The insane person just milled me. Why would you do that? Do I just leave up Snapcaster Surgical now? Stop on this upkeep? Like that seems fine. Like wait for our Shriekhorn to go off here. I have a prized amalgam can flag here. There's a blood moon, oh my gosh. Like do I hit anything here? Things we have in the yard here is can flag and blood moons. An Archimeba prized amalgam. Letting them untap? I thought I was supposed to. I guess the can flag puts more things into the yard here. That's true, we could wait too. Let's just wait. I I, I think I think I could be patient. I think I can be patient. Come back. Pew pew. One with Narcamoeba. Sounds good. I mean, next turn I can just cleansing wildfire them and still have snap surgical up. Use a little more life total to do that, but something that is plausible. Stinkweed just into play. All right, all right, all right. Is there any reason to bolt something? Maybe I bolt Narcamoeba here. It's one less damage in the future. All right, so here it's probably cleansing wildfire still. Let's try to get rid of what? Black source or green source? Life in the Lone gets a little bit annoying. Sometimes they have a forest. I guess the black I don't care about because they can just damnation their creatures. Okay, we go after the green source here. We still have snap surgical. End up drawing. Take some off of a land. Okay. We got a shriek horn again. We do. Nothing. All right. Sure. Do your thing. What if I just snap and surge and snap and cleansing wildfire this next turn? Snap wildfire, just take them off black. Then they won't have enough for conflag. I don't know if that's really the play. Here we go. They're going to conflag here. So they can flag for three damage. And I do see a Golgari thug down here. This is done. I'm wondering if this is just worth taking here. Is there anything else I care about? I want to. I think I want to take the thug. The prize of Malcolm's worrisome, but I have the damnation to get rid of them when they come back. I think. I think here I'm gonna go my line here. Surgical away the Golgari thug. You 
give me my surgical. Grab the thug here. All right, we have a forgotten cave. All right, so what's left? Blood gas are annoying, and the ox is obviously life's and stink weeds. I mean, there's definitely some good stuff here that they can draw into. We have one street corn to worry about. Okay, so that's what we've got to beat here. I, I think we can beat this. It's going to be close, though. All right, our turn, island. Just attack for two. I don't really want to shock in here. Maybe I should have played the Blood Crypt down, but I'm thinking Island gets me closer to Mystic Sanctuary, which might be important. We're dead to chills if they hit all three. We're, we're dead to a bunch of things because of Stinkweed Imp. They decide to play Forgotten Cave instead of cycling it. Will they go back on defense? They do not. I do hit that Scalding Tarn, which would give me the Watery Grave. I can attack with Tar Pit, too. I guess we can attack with Tar Pit here. It's gonna be close though. I need like a bolt or something or another snapcaster. Yeah, we'll hit him for five. It's three turns. Three turns, we'll see what happens. Not a whole lot for us to be doing here. We'll leave this upkeep stop. I should have used it last turn. I don't think mathematically it'll matter unless I top deck a bolt. Force is not a bad card to see here. One, two, three. So I would need to have a Scalding Tarn out. See? I guess it would be an extra turn here. I'm not going to attack the into the stinkweed for obvious reasons. So, yeah, our one attack of not tar pit looks like it might cause us one one problem here. Uh no, there were no bolts. My opponent's fetching with a blood stained mire here, which is interesting. They decide to shock in as well. They cast a creeping chill. I see no reason to stop this. Why would I force this? If I force this and then they just top deck like cathartic or something? Oh, that's right. They're going to gain life. Never mind. What am I talking about? I'm not thinking about the gain life portion. So if I top deck away to get rid of Stinkweed, we win. Well, it's not a way to get rid of Stinkweed, but it would tap it. Titan wins always. I'm just thinking if there's anything else to tap here. It's probably correct to tap one of these down for this turn. And just attack with everything next turn. Because their only out is really casting something. Frost Titan, getting there. I think so. Just big Titan. <laughs> it feels so good to see the blue Titan. Hey, we get a W there. <laughs> oh, Fatal Push too. Fatal Push wouldn't work, but 
you know, little two two. All right. Last time we ran this, which was the league before, we went two three. We are at least tying last league's record. Let's improve. Let's get version. What are we on three? To a winning record. Let's go. Grixis, Titans. Who needs that primeval? Who needs that Uro? It's all about Frost Titan, Grave Titan, and Inferno Titan. This is this is something else. <laughs> Mm-hmm. We have sided it out, but we've also run into Dredge twice. And then we really, really wanted it against Ad Nauseam. And then that Leyline match screwed us up with our discard. We might have had a win there. So I don't know. I don't know. There's that weird balance between how much do we lean on the discard and how much do we not. At this point, let's just slam three Skelementals and call it a day. All right, let's play first. Well, it's just blue-black with a splash of Croxa here. I think we go ahead and keep this. Here we go. We'll test if discard works or not. Bunny's build confirm better? I don't know yet. All right, fetch shock here. Let's start with Inquisition. See what's up. Oh, crap. Okay. <clears throat> well, take Soul Scar Mage, and then I could Thought Seize away the Kiln Fiend, and then we'll go from there, apparently. Mountain. Decides to crash through as well. Good, good choice, opponent. Good choice. All right, Thought Seize here. Lava Spike and Kiln Fiend. We'll take Kiln Fiend here. Go ahead. Is this the only deck in the meta? Apparently. We have played against a lot of aggro, correct. They're going to get to light the stage, unfortunately, for us. Getting Swift Spear and Land. All right, so I guess I'm going to try to mana leak this. Wow, I don't get a third land here. I guess that's what we're doing. Mana leaking the Monastery Swiss Burn, we're hoping. Since I have no way to uh, get rid of this otherwise. We know Fire Island and Mountain here. Land, please. Thanks. Love you too, deck. Love you too. About 15 plus leagues a day. <laughs> what are lands? Lands are silly. Lands are these things. My opponent has not played this mountain yet. Only downside to playing a whole bunch of random mountains is I can tell which ones you've played and which ones you haven't. What are lands anyway? I'm gonna leave Mana Leak up even though it's getting worse and worse. Playing our Crocs on them just discarding the mountains is silly. There's a land. Oh my gosh, we can play Magic. Not gonna shock it in for very obvious reasons. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't try to kick something against the blue mage. Just pay a year two and go on your day. Lightning bolts me. Lava darts me. Play the fiery islet. Bedlam revelers. Spews everything here. And getting ready to just kill me with this creature. K command doesn't do enough. We have lava darts that snapcaster dies. We're pretty dead on board here. Uh, what I'm going to do is just Snapcaster Inquisition to look at their hand and get a little bit more information, and we'll go to game two. If you always get this opportunity, I would highly recommend doing this because they could have top decked something very strange. 
They're not going to concede because they're going to win. But you just want to check and see what else is going on. I'll go ahead and F6. My opponent still has to, in some ways, um, kill this with Lava Dart and still do more than four damage. So... Uh-oh. It's number rule number one. Lava darts here, getting rid of Snapcaster. And this has got to be it. This is at the end. It's a five six. Just throw the bolt at my face. Look, there you go. You cast the burst lightning. All right, that was uneventful for us, that's for sure. That's for sure. That's okay, though, because we basically know how we sideboard for this at this point. Pretty much have a good idea. We kind of get stuck here. And we've taken, like, Inquisition sometimes. I mean, maybe this is just, like, a Singleton Serum Visions. like a Croxa or something, you know? I think I've taken both Croxas out the last few times, just so I can dig, have all the removables. I don't think Croxa's right here. Let's take a Serum Visions out. I know we've taken Cryptic a few times. Uh, force is for Blood Moon. We don't cut Force. And Titans are win condition. Unless you're saying cut Frost Titan. Which, Frost Titans won the most games. So I'm against that a little bit. I like this cut. I mean, we did Shock, Fetch, and, and then Thought Seized into a Prowess, so... I'm feeling like this is correct. Give it a shot here. Playing first. Uh, slow hand, but we'll keep. We can use Snapcaster as a blocker. Kalidus and Damnation looking pretty pretty hot here. Inferno's bad? What are you talking about? You're silly. You're silly, bunny. Drown the lock. Could kill this. Worth it. Yes. Take two. Cryptic good on the play, bad on the draw. Okay. Well. I think... We need Lava Spike to resolve here really quick. So let Lava Spike resolve, and then we'll kill Creature here. We'll kill the Prowess Mage here, the Soul Scar, because it can shrink Kalidus in the future. Steam Vents is our next thing tapped. Could use Snapcaster to block. Could just Fatal Push my opponent, too. Go ahead. Looking pretty good here, not having to potentially use this Damnation before Kalidus would be nice. Fire bolts us. We're dying rapidly. Land. Attacks. Definitely need all the fatal pushes and lightning bolts that we've had. Almost tempted to do a 3 3 split instead of the 4 3 that we've done. All right. We'll make them have it. <clears throat> Fire some stuff out at Kalidus, please. You don't want this. On a can trips of fiery eyelet. What's interesting is this is not the Obosh version. This is just straight prowess. Just kind of interesting to run into just the mono red prowess without the Obosh nowadays. Obosh seems to be played quite a bit. I guess this is the kiln. So there's the Obosh version, and then there's the kiln fiend version. There you go. Kalidus is enough, apparently, on turn four with a few removal spells. 
All right, so what do we want maybe instead of a cryptic on the draw here? Maybe a cling to dust. Gain a little bit of life, make things weird for them. It seems all right. It's probably just better than a cryptic command. Shove it back. All right, Bunny, if we win this, if we win this, Twitch streams list goes 3-2 and yours went 2-3. How would that make you feel? Also, it's been great to have you around the whole time. Thanks for being here. Hmm. I mean, this hand looks pretty good. What? We took your... We didn't play yours? Yes, we did. Mentally, we played yours. I think we keep this. <laughs> And Serum Visions, if the following turn we don't really have a place for Anger, we can put Engineered if they run two things out. So if they have a bunch of bunch of one drops here, Engineered's looking pretty hot. I like that Force of Negation too. Let's set up the next turns. Let's bottom both of these. I don't want either of these now. Cool. Shh, bunny shh. Both lists were always yours. They were always yours. Okay. Hillenfiend looks a little bit frightening here. We do hit Polluted Delta, which would give me the second red. I'm gonna play Polluted Delta here and not play Engineered Explosives. We're gonna play Snapcaster as a blocker, fingers crossed, and then engine or Anger afterwards. So here I'm gonna fetch Shock with a Steam Vents and use Snapcaster as the bait to get the Kiln Fiend. This is putting two cards in but I'm hoping that they play something here and they won't have one more. Here we go, perfect. Exactly, tap out, yes, yes, do this. Now I get hit for quite a bit here. I think I'll be okay though. Bone Crusher is gonna be a little bit rough to follow up with. No, 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 no. I need to be able to play black. I needed the double red for this though. Well, I've got to kill everything, so here we go. King of the gods. I just slap down a bone crusher giant and I can't quite get Kalidus down. So I almost need like another snapcaster to buy me a turn. Huh. K command's not enough. Yeah, the cavern for the vampire. We're, we're going to get there. Do I just K-Command make them discard here? Then pick up Snapcaster? Return Snapcaster, make them discard. That's all I can really do this turn. I need them to blank like two turns in a row here. Our painful mana base looks like it's gonna get us a little bit here. You could EE on three, but at least I'm like forcing a land potentially out of hand. Why didn't I Kalidus? I can't, Kalidus is double black. <clears throat> this is turn four, and I needed double red for Anger the Gods earlier. Oh gosh, they pitched a Lava Dart. Just shove me in a box and ship me off to who knows where. <laughs> Alright, it's not painful to do the next thing. Dodge. 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 
God, no, don't stop. I need a bolt off the top. Doesn't do it, do it. Hmm. That is most certainly a bummer. We can cast. <clears throat> this engineered explosives was uh, not dead in our hands. Anger just was better earlier. We were turn four. We had a swamp. We had to. We had cavern or swamp to play on that turn. So on turn four, that's what we had. Swamp was for turn four. Yeah. We're representing Bolt here, and I'm hoping it's giving my opponent pause. Fingers crossed. This is giving my opponent pause, debating on whether they should go for it. You're a red deck. You just slam it. They could be fearful of going in here and me blocking. Cantrips to give themselves another option here. Soul Scar Mage. Soul Scar Mage shrinks Kalidus when they attack and they kill. Do it this way. It doesn't matter if they use the lava dart, we lose. We're trying to do it this way so that it looks like if they use the lava dart, I can still bolt Kiln Fiend. When it does do the lava dart stuff. Lava darts on Kalidus here. And we lose. <laughs> Wasn't going to matter how we block because both were four X's. 2-3, Grixis, Titans here in Modern. We decide to jam out Frost Titan, Grave Titan, and Inferno Titan as an experiment here. We're a few notches into this iteration. And um, I think you've got different options. You have the one that we have as the deck list that Bunny created. Then you have a little more heavier discard, which are the two lists that we played tonight. Experience wise, we ran into a lot of prowess lists. So I would say less discards and more interaction. Bunny's list had more draws with thought scours. I would probably bring the four of fatal pushes based on what we saw, move a few thought seizes to the sideboard, give that a shot. Uh, ceremonies, rejections, and disdainful strokes pretty much were never used. So that opens up some of your sideboard for those as things you can do. But there you go. Grixis, Titans, Modern, a fun list. <laughs>